Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the struts on this 2003 uh, Mercury Mountaineer. We show you the passenger side, driver's side is a similar procedure. Uh, there is just one little different thing that you have to remove to get to the bolts. Um, this Mountaineer is basically the same as well as Explorer, Ford Explorer, and Lincoln Aviator. And you'll need new front struts from 1AAuto.com. 8, 13, tw 19, 24 millimeter sockets with ratchet and a piece of pipe for some extra leverage. Pry bar, jack and jack stands, and a torque wrench. Pry off the hubcap by using a flat blade screwdriver and the small slot on the side. Once you get it started, you can just pull out around the edges. And we'll just fast forward as Mike removes those 19 millimeter lug nuts. And if you don't have air-powered tools, you want to loosen them while the vehicle's on the ground, raise the vehicle, and remove them the rest of the way. Now you can pull the wheel free. At the top of your strut, is three 13 millimeter nuts. Coat the top of those with uh, some penetrating oil. And then that um, little valve on top of the picture is in the way, so use an eight millimeter socket ratchet and remove the bolt for it so it can move around. And then use 13 millimeter socket ratchet with extensions, or uh, if you have them, use air powered tools and remove those three nuts that hold the top of the strut. Now you want to remove this bolt right here. So just spray the nut on the back first with some penetrating fluid. And then using a 24 millimeter socket and ratchet and a piece of pipe for some extra leverage. Just loosen it up and remove it. Use a pry bar to pry the strut down and pull it forward and then up and out. On the bottom is the old strut, above it is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're very similar and they'll fit exactly the same and work just the same. Take your new strut from 1A Auto and feed it back into the lower control arm. Then angle it up and then just push it, those studs back up into place and replace those nuts. And after you get them all replaced by hand, you just want to tighten them up preliminarily. And then remove this nut. Lower the wheel knuckle so that you can get that hole in the strut. And then just push the bolt in and hammer it in the rest of the way. Then put the nut on the other side and lock it into place and then tighten up that bolt the rest of the way. Now in order to tighten up that bottom nut you want to simulate like the weight is on the suspension so jack the suspension up and take the weight off the jack stand and then you'll want to torque that nut to 130 foot-pounds. Replace your wheel and then replace the lug nuts and tighten them in a crossing pattern. And you just want to tighten them most of the way, lower the vehicle, and then tighten them the rest of the way.
torque the lug nuts in a crossing pattern to 100 foot pounds. Line up your hubcap and hit it back into place. And then torque these three nuts at the top of the strut to 30 foot pounds. Replace the 8mm bolt that holds that uh, bracket and valve in place and tighten it up. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.